If you ask me, I'll tell you that Mary Edochi is not yet ready to let her husband go. <laughs> She's not yet ready to re let her marriage go. She's not yet ready to let go of everything she built during the 17 years of marriage. And it's not easy. But the thing is that, why I'm saying this is that if she's actually ready to let go of the marriage or of her man, she has so many, she has three options available for her legally and from the normal aspect. But she doesn't want to take any, meaning that she's not ready yet to let go. See, we are no longer that gullible again. And I think this, this situation has gone so long that even if we are gullible before, we are no longer gullible as to understand her state of mind. Like, it irritates me that one of them wake up any of the days and writes long notes for us when all of you are still in the triangle. Like, my question is, why the same triangle? Like, why the triangle if any of you are ready, if any of you, if any of them is ready to move on? But it's obvious that none of them is ready to move on. They're all still entangled in the triangle. But one will come and claim that she's not in the triangle. And it must be, especially is her recent post, her recent post on Instagram, she wrote, she wrote a long note. And from her long note, what she's trying to tell us is that she is not in the triangle. Why she is in the triangle. See, you have to stay and listen to these three options that May has, but she doesn't want to use it. And it will still come out and be forming that uh, I'm not to be numbered among wives. We built our house jointly. I'm, I'm not into polygamy. I don't want polygamy. But you have not taken any action. We are not that gullible again. Even if you that are coming here now, that you are still gullible and you want to attack me under this comment section, please. Please. Before you do that, listen to what I have to say. But one thing you need to know is that adultery is a, is a valid ground for divorce here in Nigeria. If your spouse commits adultery, you have the right to have every ground as long as you can prove it and in this case now you don't even need to stretch yourself to prove it because judy has a son already for you it explains that was a doctor that when you're marrying your husband that your husband was really sleeping with another woman and the, the, the woman got pregnant so it's a valid a valid evidence proof to show to the court that your husband has committed adultery so you have that you have that weapon just like a weapon given to you to divorce him yes you don't want to divorce him we did not hear about you divorcing him. <laughs> Another option is to see him for bigamy because the law says that where a man is legally married, not just customary, not just traditionally, when a man is statutorily married to the first wife, he shouldn't marry the second one, except if he married the first one under traditional marriage, under customary law marriage. That is the only time he has the right to marry a second wife. But as long as there was a statutory marriage with the initial first wife and there is no divorce, you do not divorce your wife before marrying the second wife. It's a crime called bigamy, and the man can go in for seven years for it. May you do not see your husband on bigamy. Third, you have the option of okay, it has happened. He's still my husband. I love him. I want to stay with him. Let's die this matter. You have the option of okay, it's what it, it is. What it is. Let's continue this marriage. You do not accept that one. How many things that corner? Three things. She did not. And she came the other day to write a long note. I'll read that for you guys. She came the other day to, to write a long note for us. At the end of the day, for me, at the end of the day, you're not making sense. You're not. Because you're kind of trying to be on the, what I say, be on the fence or trying to gather um, um, sympathy or I don't just know. I just say playing on people's emotion because if not playing on people's emotion, there are three good options for you to choose, but you chose none. Instead, you come online to tell us that the house you are living in is built gently. We all agreed that it's built gently. But, and then again, that she will not be numbered among wives. You will not be numbered among wives. And you're still living there. You're still living in the same roof with him. You did not petition for divorce. You did not even sue him for bigamy. Not, what do you want? <laughs> and there's this thing that we call uh, uh, presumption and reputable presumption. 
it's presumed that since you, you know, that, that your husband committed adultery, and adultery is a valid ground for you to sue for um divorce, but you did not sue for divorce. It's presumed that you're okay with it, or even if you're not okay with it, that you're trying to condone it. Okay, and again, you are still legally married to your husband, to your wife. Unless the court pronounces it. So even if you call, come and tell us that you know you're not to be numbered among wives, but you have not done necessary things, you are a wife. You are his wife. You are numbered among his wife until you do you do the necessary. See, this whole thing, nobody is trying like to force you to make a decision in a haste. But my own is if we are not ready to make a decision yet, whether to continue with the marriage or to um to divorce your husband then keep it to yourself don't come and be writing long notes for us on on instagram and be claiming what you are not yes it's exactly claiming what you are not if you need a peaceful time to go through it to know if you're still going to continue the marriage or divorce your husband do it peacefully don't come and be writing to us that you beat your heart gently you will not be numbered among wives you will not be numbered among wives but you are still there in his house you are still you still have no petition for divorce nothing so, since there is no divorce, the, God, the court has not declared whatever it is that binds the two of you together. You are still his wife. And since you have not gone traditionality, even return there, you are still his wife. So, stand, we don't know your stand. We don't know your stand. And we don't really need to know your stand if you don't always come online to be typing long notes for us. See, this thing has been months and months and months and months and months. We are left... You are meant to be there in your quiet place and just know what you want for yourself and decide before you start coming out to come and preach to us. And in, in that letter that she wrote, in that caption that she wrote, she was like, uh, beyond all unnecessary facade, meaning unnecessary father. For, for me, I, I interpreted that angle from the act that, you know, before then, um, she did her birthday and you literally appeared on her birthday um, uh, celebration and was holding her and all those things. I think that kind of sparked something on the internet. People saying they are still together. And she was she just trying to come and she just she she was she's trying to come and say, eh, even even when you saw even when you saw us together, we are not thinking one. I think that's what she was she was trying to prove by writing down long stuff. But for me, it still doesn't make sense. I mean we are not gullible again. Or even if it's you that is watching me that you're still gullible, you can come and you know, rant on my comment section. But let me tell you, if she has these three options that are there for, for, for her and she doesn't want to use it, <laughs> she doesn't have any right to come to us and be complaining too. But if she has the right to come and complaining to us too, we also have the right to come and redress some things. And see, I'm talking to you. This thing that I'm saying is the legal aspect of it. I'm not just coming here to talk, 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 talk. But stay the legal aspect, the legal solution that she has, that she refused to use. There is this term condonation. It's a legal term called condonation. And what does it mean? It's also a defense for you, the chair, if the wife eventually, in the long run, after a long <laughs> argument, social media argument, if you ask me, and she now decide, okay, she wants to divorce her, her husband. You can also come up with the with the defense of condemnation. And what is this condemnation? Condemnation in law means that you have the, you had knowledge of whatever marriage marital issue that was it, which is in this case now is adultery. Yes, you had knowledge of adultery, and you are forgiven because from that her write up. Don't worry, I will still read the write up for you guys. From that her write up, she says she has forgiven. The forgiveness is divine that she has forgiven. One. Wow. You have knowledge too, you are forgiven. Then the third one is a statement. When this three is complete, your husband can, your husband or your wife can peacefully, and in this case now, let's just be precise, you can uh, uh, successfully cancel or convince the cause to cancel your divorce uh, procedure. So, the thing is, the earlier the better. The earlier the better, because the more you take long to, you're building, you're building uh, uh, evidences, you're building loopholes for the failures of what you want the court to do for you you are building loopholes for yourself yes and the possibility of you winning uh you winning in court is is becoming so slim because if you should should raise the 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 defense of condemnation and they said the law said that before condemnation can be a ground for the dismissal of divorce that three things must be involved 
one knowledge of the matrimonial issue two forgiveness and three restatement restatement means that okay my husband did this i know i'm forgiving him let's live in peace on what we are still living so once this third one is complete which the way i'm seeing me now is even going to the third one is going to complete very soon forget this thing that she will come online and be saying i don't know even who is even pressuring her like who is pressuring her you don't need to be pressured if you need time to yourself to figure things out stay off social media figure things out and come out and tell us what you figured out not every day you will come with new epistle you will come with his own and write everywhere judy will wake up and write her own everywhere May will wake up and write their own everywhere. At the end of the day, three of them are in the same triangle. May you are in the same triangle with them. I are telling us you don't be numbered as wife. Okay, madam, you are wife. Okay? Presumption by law, you are wife. You have not divorced, you are wife. And by presumption, you are wife. Unless a reputable presumption comes up, then we will not know, okay, that you are not your wife. So that is it three opportunities that may has but she doesn't want to take them she doesn't want to carry it out she doesn't want to use the opportunities <laughs> and it's coming to tell us that we shouldn't number her as a wife i will number you as a wife and she's coming to tell us that she built the house gently with the let the court decide who will have the house okay so what do you have to say about this whole thing because me <laughs> The episode is long and long and long and long. That's why I said they should stop coming to tell us things. They should stop coming to write a long, long essays for us. They should stop coming to write a long caption for us. Let them figure out their things in the private. Because as long as they come out to tell us things, we'll have our own thing to say. And you that is there coming to tell me, mind your business, mind your business, you too. You're not minding your business. If you're minding your business, you will not be in support or against. So as long as you are in support or against me, you're not minding your business. So I won't mind mine either. And again, I'm not just coming here to talk about stuff. I'm coming here to talk about stuff with the legal background. I'm coming here to talk about things with the legal, legal attachment. I'm coming here to talk about stuff with the legal solution. I'm coming here to talk about stuff with the legal solution. I'm coming here to talk about issues with the legal backup. Okay. So thanks for watching. Share this video if you like it. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel and see you guys next time. Bye.